Man accused of breaking into a Wind Lake home last night and killing a co-worker is in custody. 40-year-old Troy Hoffman turned himself in today at the police station in Houstisford, about 60 miles from the crime scene. 12 News obtained exclusive video. Here it is of Hoffman's van being towed away from Houstisford in Dodge County. Hoffman is now in Racine County awaiting charges in the shooting death of Chad Bickler. The guy was his co-worker and he seemed like he was well, nobody liked them on the crew. Nobody liked them in the office. Well, that's the shooting victim's cousin talking to 12 News, Caroline Reinwald. And Caroline, he's one of the relatives that you talked with today. That's right. I want to show you right now one, two, three bullet holes still peppering the side of this home where that man died inside last night. We know that he built this home and his cousin tells me they just finished construction on it before he passed away. Everybody loved him. He always had something funny to say. The cousin of Chad Bickler remembers him as a social giant. Everybody loved him. He's a great guy, funny. I mean, he's the guy that everybody would want around if they're having a get together, planning something. He was always first on everybody's list. Bickler died inside his family summer house on Loomis Road that he helped build. The Racine County Sheriff said Troy Hoffman shot Bickler multiple times Thursday night after forcing himself into the home. Bickler's dog Tucker was also shot and killed. Bickler's cousin says the victim's brother had only left the home moments before Bickler's violent death. Clay went out to grab pizza locally and those few minutes when he was out is when he came back to the devastation. He got to hold his brother one last time and and tell him, you know, he loves him and gave him a kiss and and then he faded away right in his arms. It is tough to hear. Caroline, you spoke to the victim's brother today as well. Yeah, I did, and he was uh, too distraught to go on camera, which is completely understandable. He's asking for his and his family's privacy during this difficult time, but we do have a link to their GoFundMe page that will help with funeral costs and cleanup here uh, at the house, Patrick. And Caroline Reinwald live in Racine County tonight. And at this point, the motive is unclear, but 12 News has learned the suspect and victim worked for the same safety and security company based in New Berlin.